Good evening, everybody. How are we this Sunday? So I'll just wait for people to come on. <laughs> I've had the craziest day. The grandchildren left after staying for a week, so it was sad to see them go. Um, but we had a brilliant week. We went to the beach twice. And um, we played in the garden lots and yeah, we just had a great time. But I said to go swimming this morning because I haven't been uh, swimming for 10 days. And then to go for a three and a half hour walk in the rainforest uphill to find this loch that I've been trying to find for ages. So um, I'm quite tired tonight. Um... Very tired, actually. I went with uh, my friend Anna Tua and the neighbour's kids crossed the road and Oriel, and it took us three and a half hours hiking through the rainforest. So um, that is why I'm a bit later with our Sunday evening live tonight. But what an intense week it has been. I thought I'd check in, see how you're all doing so if you are watching can you just put hello or where you are in the world just so I can see if people are actually watching this and um, then it notifies more people that I am live okay great hi Candice hi Julie so yeah this time last Sunday we started with our mano harnessing our abundance frequency and then on Tuesday about a hundred of us did the big activation for the Arcturians which I will talk about in a bit. Oh hi Sonia thank you for commenting take care driving and um, yes yeah, so I'll talk about the results of that a bit and um, what's happening tonight and what's happening next week. So yeah, Ardmano came through last Sunday for harnessing our abundance and noticed that over 80% of us had blocked our abundance, which was from timelines where we experienced poverty and destitution, you know, and how that was affecting our frequency. So we um, we did the clearing with Ardmano on Thursday. We did a repeat for both. Last night, because we lost, we lost, the mast went down. The Arcturians knocked out the mast. So we'd no, um, we'd no signal for three days, no mobile phone signal, no um, obviously Wi-Fi internet. We're so rural, you don't get broadband here, so you have to be on the Wi-Fi router. So yeah, with three days, no internet. So because we weren't able to communicate with you much, we did do the repeats last night um, of both the skull healings. And tonight, it's the final day of the Lion's Gate portal, we are anchoring the golden abundance frequency into our matrix. So that is actually in 40 minutes. If you're not booked now, it would be a um, good time to get on and do it because this is what we have been culminating. We've been building up to so these golden abundance codes, so the golden frequency is a particular vibration. It's actually the colour of the Christed light as well. And these galactic golden abundance frequencies, we are just through the Lion's Gate is like the galactic new year portal. And so we're into this new galactic year cycle, which means all the star systems are um, resonating on a different frequency. And um, we are changing, you know, we on the earth are changing, we are fast tracking our ascension. But what this week has been all about is really about letting go in whatever way of what no longer serves us. So... Maybe some of you have been very tired this week. Maybe some of you have had a lot of pain. Maybe some of you have been getting challenging behaviour from others. Maybe some of you had money issues come to four family disputes. It's all this intense energy shift. Really building up to the next new moon in Leo. 
which is happening on Wednesday. So I'll speak about that in a moment. I would just say, even if you don't do my courses for whatever reason, um, read the channelings because you get so much good information out of them, even if you're not financially able to join or you're busy at the time, although everything is recorded. Um, then, you know, the messages are so apt that are coming through to help us understand with what's um, going on. So um, tonight's message from Ardmano. So Ardmano is my big galactic, my largest, he's not my largest, he's most expensive by far. He's not actually my largest, um, he's my heaviest skull. Um, so he's the big Priscilla, probably the most popular one for to be working with. But this is the message for tonight. It's an honour to have so many of you ready to anchor the Galactic Golden Abundance Codes into your matrix. We, myself and the Galactic Council, are delighted to support you in this endeavour. To aid the creation of an abundant, wealthy, happy new earth of joy and light. For too long, Earth has been a challenging place to be, but at last humanity has awoken and are ready to radiate their creative solar light forth to the universe. The Lionsgate portal has harnessed in the golden opportunity timeline, a timeline of wondrous high frequency light to make your souls sing as the veils drop away. As you're liberated from the past and moving into a glorious unified future, of your abundant creation. This is an exciting time to be alive on the earth plane and to move forward to the golden bright future. So that's what's um that's what's going on in this um portal. Oh don't worry Susan um or oh, hi Maria um well you can do this one. You maybe you maybe didn't actually have it was only eighty percent of us. Let's see maybe in the twenty four who didn't have poverty consciousness through um and destitution from lifetimes of it before. But if you feel you do, um we are going to be sort of doing the one to one Ardmano sessions again um to assist. But yes, so oh, about half an hour we have this opportunity. So we can go into your meditation, you can receive, I always win the bath for the Sunday night ones, to be honest, and just receive this influx of golden light that is going to change your abundance um, attitude. So sort of talking about health issues. I, this week, realised that I was late. I'm never late. My periods are always bang on. And today I was like, I am now a week, a week late. I was like, I am 43, I can't be pregnant. And I was thinking, the only time I've been as late as this before, it took me a while to realise I was pregnant, to be honest, was when I was pregnant. But I didn't feel pregnant. I was thinking, rings is really sore back this month, I've been in France, I'm pretty sure I can't be pregnant. But then that's a month on and a week on and I'm like, oh my goodness. What if I'm pregnant? I better go and buy my test kit. <laughs> but I decided to go for a swim because swimming always helps move your lymph, gets things flowing. And before I went to the pool, I decided to get out my Theta Healing book and I just opened it up a particular page. as like just whatever belief I need to look at. And I went up into the, it was the seventh plane page. So if you're a Theta healer, you know, you go up to the seventh plane of existence, which is the God frequency. It's the instant healing place and I was told that actually I've always had a fear of being pregnant it's I've, I would must be wonderful to want to get pregnant I've never had that experience I mean I've, I'm a mother but I haven't had that experience <laughs> in fact when I found out I was pregnant I was a bit like oh my god how did that happen <laughs> um so yeah I have an unhealthy I suppose attitude towards pregnancy and I have done a lot of healing on it, and I thought it was completed, but I was kind of shown I have this, it was timelines of illegitimacy. So I think in the past I'd had, I'd got pregnant and um, it's like illegitimate pregnancies, and of course that wasn't allowed in the past, was it? And things like that. So this whole massive fear about getting pregnant when you don't want to get pregnant. But I felt really, I really had done so much work on it, I really didn't feel that strong. But I was able to feel into it, and I wasn't panicking. I knew I really, I hoped I wasn't pregnant. But um, I was like, okay, we're going to go into this energy. We're going to clear this. 
Um, so I did my three to healing and then I work a lot with the dragons for clearing belief patterns. Had been told I was going to start doing monthly dragon workshops and I thought, well, I did dragons a lot, you know, did a lot of intense dragon stuff in the past. And lately it's been just earth healing sessions and they said, no, it'll just be our sessions. And then it was like, okay, you're going to transformation sessions. And then, so I got the dragons in to clear it all. Went from a swim. Went to the co-op because the super um the, the pharmacy wasn't open, and I was like, "Oh wow!" I didn't even know if they'd have a pregnancy test. And there was two. There was a four pound one, and there was a fifteen pound one. I'd read reviews on the four pound ones online before, which was like, "Yeah, there's a reason these are four pound. They're not extra." All this stuff, and I thought, "Do you know I'm going to buy this? I'm going to buy this test. I'm not going to need it." But I bought it anyway, so I went for the four pound one. And um I got in the car and it's a ten minute drive back and I thought my period started, I'm sure it has. And so anyway, I got home, I went to the toilet. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even get the test out of the packet. And there it was. I was like, isn't that funny? I just cleared what was stopping me bleeding for a week. I went swimming, which is what my body physically required, but I did the belief work and then my period came. I wasn't pregnant. And I realised that's what we're actually moving into. I could have dropped into the abject fear I would have had in the past, the panic. When I told the ring, she's like, oh, don't do this to me again. I don't think you're pregnant. Um, and I didn't think it was either, but logistically, what else could it be if you're a week late? I, I'm, I'm never late. Um, so, you know, it's just an example of how the world is changing for us, how going forward it's about not dropping into drama, not dropping into the old patterned way of, you know, being. So, yeah, Susan, I would still recommend you to clear it because you don't want another timeline to not have kids if you'd wanted kids and it didn't happen for you so you know it's worth taking the time to do this clearing work while you're in this um portal because i sat and channeled the new moon workshop so that is out now guys it's going to be at wednesday because it is wednesday's the new moon it's new moon in leo and it's going to be with the lyran star beings and the syrian star beings and it is um, embodying your divine potential and it's a really interesting message for them. I'm not going to go into it tonight. You can go onto the website. You can have a read. But it's like what we've been all building up to. I'll do a live before the new moon. But it's this realisation that we are on a trajectory. We are following it through. And, you know, I really want to write. I'd like to write my books. I really would like to get back to the one-to-one -one channelings. But actually... Can see how all the courses really since the pandemic have been leading us on a pathway a gateway and you some people come on for the ride a bit and then hop off others are still on the train are still moving through are still climbing up and up and up some people are just watching because they're not ready at the moment for what's going on they're taking in the information um and then some people rejoin the train and they've been off it for a bit or they jump ahead through a different pathway it's just fascinating to watch it and to see how actually i am channel i mean obviously i channel in the courses but i i am being asked to do all this because there's a there's a there's a process there's a journey that we are all on and i actually feel really honored to be able to use my gifts to offer this um because a lot of people work because they have to earn money. And I, I, I'm I, very fortunate at the moment. <laughs> I've done all my hard work the last two years. I don't have to be in that position just now. And yet it's just like, why do I work? I don't have to work. It's because like, I love it. And it's my mission. It's what I enjoy. You know, um, I really enjoy channeling the courses. I love running the workshops. Which is why the writing also goes to the side, which is why the one-to-one -one work gets pushed to the side, because it's what I enjoy. But also, it helps the most people. Um, so, the whole embodying your divine potential is so multifaceted, it's so vast. 
And I was kind of like realizing that by doing the courses, I'm only, I'm only, it's not about embodying it, but I'm only fulfilling part of it. And I have to start doing this other part again, which I'm excited about. Um, but to be able to embody all of our potential, I mean, that is just going to be phenomenal. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about that. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting week for us all. New Moon's about 10.38 a.m. Do go onto the website, have a look, have a read. Um, see if you feel ready for what we're about to experience. It's, it's really taking us to this next level. But I wanted to draw a few cards for you because I haven't done that. Um, I haven't done that before. Hi, Pamela, how are you? Um, I haven't done that for a few weeks because um, I've been doing various other things. So I'm just in Rings' office, which is the spare bedroom, but we have now commissioned for the recording studio and office. I am going to use Whispers of Healing because we are, you know, we're doing all this intense work. So on Thursday, Samantha, the green jasper skull, is going to be bringing through a uh, um, receiving healing light transmission just to help us anchor and grind after this powerful sort of Lamas Lionsgate new moon process would just require to have some healing frequency. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> For those who don't know, who don't do my courses, I do sneeze at the start when the entries are coming through. So this is with the soft um, fairies. It's, I like this deck, it's Josephine Walls. If you don't have my book, I don't really promote my book. Messages from Nature's Guardians. Um, she did the front cover. It just happens to be a copy sat here. I'm going to put it on sale um, with the summer sale, which is the... I know loads of you have been waiting for my workshop summer sale. Yeah, I'm going to get that sorted this week when the staff are all back. Schools go back here in Scotland this week, so all the staff are back from holidays and we'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to sort out the sale um shop for you all so if you've been looking for a particular workshop waiting for it to come on sale or i'm really going to start redoing my angel meditations from the hour meditations i did about five years ago we'll feel the call to redo them but i'll put it all ready for you so let's just do a group one for everybody one two three i've got to get ready for the, the skull healing actually 20 minutes Let's go right week ahead. One, two, three. Right, you're tuning in, guys. One, two, three. Um, see if you can feel. Oh, thanks, Maria. I'll make sure I call you in. Um, hi, Simone. Yeah, tuning in. Number one, two, or three for your card of the week. Okay, so I've got my card. Type down below your card, please. Some tea. Okay, so I energetically I am going to show you the cards as well. I'll turn it around for a minute. So I've got one. Two, three. One, two, three. So yeah, I'm still in the sports gear from my my hike up. Okay, lots of ones, lots of twos. Sorry, lots of threes and twos. Sorry, no number ones yet. Interesting. I'll let it go for another couple of minutes just while you are tuning in. And um, we'll see which cards have come up. So yeah, there's still time to book. Um, we're asking the golden abundance codes. So yeah, Maria, your name, it comes through a system. It just pops up, is on the list. Um, so you'll definitely be, definitely be called in for this one. Right. Number ones, if you pulled number one, you've got the kindness card. So this week, it's about being kind to yourself, about being kind to others. Second key of ascension is the key of kindness. 
So that's what the energy of this portal closing and the new moon is about kindness. Number two, just snuck in there. Number two is a lot of you at number twos. It's a week of learning for you. So that can be spiritual learning, as we've been sort of talking about, learning how to handle situations in the new way, learning new information, learning to play, learning to uh, a new skill or how to handle a situation. So it's a week of learning. Maybe you're starting back at school. Skills go back next week. And number three. Answers within. So it's going to be a week where you're getting answers and it's going to come from within you. So new moon, great opportunity to do your tuning in. And that's the point as well. The Galactic Golden Abundance Codes could be bringing in an abundance of answers. Maybe you've been seeking solutions. Maybe you have been trying to solve problem or find out some information. Decide on the path ahead. The answers are within you. So take time to meditate. Take time to um, be still, perhaps go into nature. I really felt I needed three and a half hours. I've had a lot of nature this week because um, we've been in to do different beaches, been swimming in the sea. I haven't put a toe in and thought, Pfft. I'll stick to swimming in the lakes in France. Still haven't had the chance to write up my French adventure, but schools are going back, so I plan to go on with that. Those who've booked soul channelings, thank you. Um, I'm actually going to start then tomorrow, those who um, have been called forward. So I decided just to really push it out there. A lot of people sign up for soul channelings who don't communicate through Facebook, who don't... Um, come on my courses and then have Gmail emails. So we're going to start asking for mobile numbers as well if you're on a waiting list because Gmail just seems to not get the message through. Um, so yeah, a lot of people ask and they don't reply, which I'm sure people aren't rude. So I just think they don't get them sometimes, which is a shame. So yeah, we're going to start asking for mobile numbers to use WhatsApp to let people know when it's their turn for channelings. So um, yeah, but I'm feeling the call to draw a card for one particular person that's on. So if you have commented in this chat, I will go through and just let the angels tell me who it is that is going to get the... Um, Going to get the message. It is Susan. It's you, Susan Drawbridge. Um, if you're still with us, Susan. So let's tune in and see a personal message. Oh, hi Kay. Just know you're on as well. Anna too and I, honestly. <laughs> we were like, will we ever find this one? <laughs> and then eventually, <laughs> through the forest, it appeared. I'll put some photos up for you. Um, right, Susan, the card for you that's coming out. Ooh, positive minded people. So for you, um, this card's all about you're going to be attracting a lot more positive minded people into your life and your business. And um, you're going to just be a mecca for them. So if you don't know Susan, actually, Susan Drawbridge, you'll see her in the comments. She actually does tropic skincare which is a great, um, I don't know, I've not got any, I'm in the office, which is a great holistic natural skincare made of fruits, all the smells of everything are just amazing. So I've been able through Susan, because you have to have an ambassador to get it, um, I've been able to actually um, get shampoo that works from here, conditioner, um, I haven't tried Susan, that little clear, you know, it came in the tester set, it's like a clear hair Spray, it's not a spray, it's like a gel thing. I've never used anything like that. I keep meaning to ask you, how do I use that? Is there a tuition video on that? Um, brightening eye cream, I won that in a competition. So yeah, on Tuesday night, Susan does competition. She has a, a group and you can go on and um, you can join. And then she does a live, don't you, Susan? Teaching about different products. Um, what else have I got? I've got that. Um, oh, the sun cream was amazing. I got the face sun cream for going abroad and also the body sun cream. Oreo loved it. All natural, didn't make us itch. It was 
brilliant. This whole oh and makeup. So I I've got I wore the mascara. I've got the powder, which I'm going to buy a lot more makeup because it's really really good. Um, as well, and I think they they do shower gels and everything. It's just a really good brand. Um, and it's a very positive community. Um, very positive community that Susan's doing. So check that out. Um, so guys, I hope you have a good week. Um, Kay, we did better than our attempt up Mount Shehalion. Yes. In fact that we had three children running ahead of us and we were like, oh my goodness, we just have to keep climbing up this hill of the oak forest. Um, yeah, we did. So uh, many years ago, when did we go there, Kay? It was Fort and Gaul, wasn't it? It was summer solstice, Fort and Gaul. Maybe 2015 would it have been? And we um, we were at the Front Girl U, the oldest tree in the world at that time, until they found an older one in Sweden. And we were at the Stone Circles. And then there's Shehalion, Mount Shehalion, very important geological mountain. It's a Munro, so it's over 3,000 feet. And um, yeah, it's known as the Hill of the Fairies, and that's where I returned the Golden Dragon and started all my dragon experience at 21 12 12 ship. I'll need to go because I need to get you set up for the skull healing tonight. But the um oh, what was I trying to say? Yeah, the was yeah, 2016, yeah. So I had this retreat group, there was about 10, 12 of us. So we set off to go up the hill and um we uh, went up the hill and there was a couple of walker like proper walkers who were walking beside us and then we decided to stop to get our first download <laughs> Kid, you know so we stopped we did that and then we moved up maybe another it wasn't flarky was it at all and then we sat down and had every line down and i was channeling all this stuff and this activations i kid you not these two walkers had been up to the top shall we? come back down it's not the easiest hill to climb shall we? and then we were just sitting off to go up a bit and they were like is this as far as you guys have gone it was so embarrassing and then we all just decided yeah we, we've done enough on the mountain i don't think we even got onto the mountain i think we, i don't think we had got onto the steep bit at all we just sort of <laughs> tiny bit of the foothill oh it was hilarious and that was our attempt at climbing mount chehalion so do you know what ruth i've still never bagged in Monroe. i have never my sister does it all the time she's always climbing Monroe's and he'll walk in and i have n oh no that's not true that's not true have been have been um up Mount Cairngorm. Why? Because it's got funicular railway that just takes you up. <laughs> so yeah, I have been at the top of Monroe. I just didn't walk it. I went up it and I'm gone to laughing. <laughs> so yeah, that is true. No, so we did really well. We uh, we kept going until I found the loch. My yoga teacher owns it, or like you know they own the land. Uh, so I did say, oh, finally made it. Finally made it. Um, so it's a good day, but I have to go, guys, because I have to go and get um, get the skull healing set up for you. So thanks very much. Have a look at the upcoming new moon, please. And exciting news. Lot 60, 70 crystal skulls have arrived and new dragon skulls in, oh, they're exquisite, lapis. And um, I think there's an amethyst. I think it's fluoride, actually. I don't think it's amethyst. And yeah, so, so lots of new dragons arrived, new skulls and huge skulls in white jade as well. Some of you I know wanted a big skull, so they've come in. I'm really pleased with the place they've come in at as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully get them up this week for you too. Um, and tiger's eye star beings. Oh, and long-headed amethyst small ones, so they're a really good price. They've come in lots and lots of skulls. I've been waiting on these carvings for about six months, so they've all arrived. But thank you for being with me, and I will see you next week or on Wednesday. So it's four till six. I'm doing it earlier because I've got yoga at night, and it's the first week back after holidays for Royals football. But primarily because the new moon is at 10.35, and I want it to be quite close to the point of that. And I know California, you should be up about four o'clock. That'll be about 8 a.m. for you. It's not too early for you. And hopefully some people can bunk off the last hour of work if you're in the UK. Okay, I will see you later. Bye.